If we have to describe Guru Maharaj, the one thing that will stand out prominent is you will find in him opposites that coexist. There's a beauty to it. I'll tell you how. On one side, you will see in him a very childlike innocence, while at the same time, he will be like a king. There's a certain sense of majesty in everything that he does. On one side, you're looking at a self-realized master who pretty much knows the journey before and the journey ahead. He knows everything, and yet in everything that he does, in every step that he literally takes, he would be practical. He would say, the greatest gift that God has given us is common sense. Do not cease using it in the name of God, in the name of spirituality. Think, he would say. Very practical. On one side, you're looking at somebody who literally knows it all. No exaggeration. You know how they say, jack of all trades, but master of none. For Guru Maharaj, I would have to say, jack of all trades and master of all. There's a completeness about everything that he does. On one side, he's this guru who guides millions of people. If he writes, his writing would be so powerful. If he sings, it would be so melodious. If he writes a poem, it would bring out some of the finest feelings that you can ever imagine. If you look at the manner in which he runs the administration, it would be so perfect. Taskmaster has a perfection to everything that he does, a master of all. He knows it all. And yet, you know, he is such a good listener. It's very funny because many people would come to him and they would repeat, say the same thing over and over again, yet he would listen patiently to give them the satisfaction of having spoken that to him. He would never interrupt. If I knew a little something, I will stop you right there. I will say, yeah, I know it already. You will never do it. Such a good listener. On one side, you will find in him this elevated soul that is very oblivious of the world around, ever lost in thoughts of Krishna, floating somewhere high in the sky, like that bird that we see that's flying high. On the other side, the attention to detail that he gives will be amazing. It will be mind-boggling. The way he remembers people, the way he remembers instances, faces, amazing. You can come and meet him today and then meet him two years later. He will continue the conversation as if it were an ongoing process. He will not even ask you what's your name. The attention to detail, the memory will simply leave you astounded. It's a very beautiful combination of opposites that define him. And once when somebody asked him in a very lighter sense, it's so hard to understand you, Swamiji. You know what he said? He said, if you have to understand me, you have to understand my love. It will not be possible for you to understand my love, so you will not be able to understand me. That's Swamiji for you. Hare